Charles, I hope you've had a lovely Christmas and Santa got you everything that you wanted. And now you're sat there on the set full of turkey and beer or whatever you have and you can't move and cake. <laughs> right, so uh, yeah, we're back. We're back at it. it didn't take me long. So uh, what we're going to do now, we're going to check the fuel tanks, make sure they're not leaking. And I did note this on... I didn't put I didn't put a return for this is the charcoal uh, the charcoal bit and this bit here has got to go back back to um, back to the fuel tank so ah, I forgot but never worry because I have a stainless steel bit that we've got a weld on top of here so we'll be doing that and then we can finally check to see if there's a uh, any leaks and if my welding is any good. <laughs> so fair ado, sit back, relax and uh, watch me get all sweaty and dirty. Um, I reckon by there that'll do wouldn't it. Oh some electric would help wouldn't it. Is it really um, nope. Um, nope. Nope. Yep that's the one. Okay, let's get this cooking. Woo! Is it, should be big enough. Oh, typical. I'll tell you what we can do now, we can get our step drill bit, so put the step drill bit in there. A step drill of it, so let's uh, boop. Oh, a little more, and I better tighten it up because he fell out. <laughs> oh, the joys! Plenty, that's nice and tight. We'll wind that in and then we'll weld around it. Oh, we're going on, all the bits are inside. Yeah, we'll shake them out. We'll put some fuel in there and we'll. Let's see how we could get, could get a magnet in there. Oh, here they come. There we go. There we are. Right, yo then. What size is this? Then I saw it. So, probably were wondering what that yellow box is here. Oh, it's Bruno, what's that yellow box? Well, I will show you in a minute what that is. What's that? 16. She's a 17. Because uh, Father Christmas bought me that. Meet the well, do you? <laughs> Lovely. That's enough. We'll chuck a well around there. Now, I've seen you all lying up this yellow box. So this was on my Christmas list. And this is a nice little toy. Ooh, look at that. Hell yeah. And that's the crimp. Our new battery terminals on which uh, and wherever else I need crimping I was thinking about using that to, to do it but these are already got their uh, their uh, what do they call them shells uh, stamps ready to go so yeah lovely thanks for having Christmas now you've all had a look inside of there we need to crack a welder out and we'll give that a weld
that's cooled down enough now put some fuel in here and see if our tank leaks or not let's loop back round and turn it upside down we don't want any fuel coming out of there I can stick my finger over the end of that one Fuel in here. <laughs> Fingers crossed. There's no any leaks in it. We'll soon find out. That should be enough. Nothing leaking out the bottom. That's good. Nothing leaking out of there. Nothing leaking out of there. Let's put our finger on that one. Rubber looks like it's doing its job. No leaks there, no leaks down the front. And our bit we just welded on, it's not leaking. Oh, I'm gonna come out my thumb in. Oh, we got two spots, one, two. Pan. One, two, two over there. Okay, well, if there's fuel in here and uh, we haven't got any more leaks anywhere else. So, our tank's good. I've done the same with the other one. That one's good. Didn't need any welding on that one. Just those two little bits where we had to cut the, um, the cross feeds out and put them back in. But, uh, yeah, tanks are uh, free of leaks, so great. Now, all we gotta do now is, we gotta, um, we gotta, what are we gotta do? We gotta take our charcoal filter, put our lines all up to the fuel tank, Yes, I haven't got a, a filler, but I got a, a filler cap. One filler cap. I need the body on to find out how high the uh, filler cap's got to be off the tank and where exactly where it's going to be. So um, I'll have to do that. Or oh, I could take measurements off the off the shell and see if I can try and line it up in a perfect spot. I might do that. But uh, we get some on with some other things. You know. Uh, fuel lines are three fuel lines and fuel line one is the return so that'll be going on to that one and then we got two two is the engine off there and then that one goes on the solenoid which is on here which goes on to there so we can get these on put these fuel lines on On. <laughs> one the other one Oh, 
two. up some kind of bracket for them at all. One, two and three go on there. We might uh, might cut this down because it's uh, all over the fucking bloody shop. I don't like that. Yeah I have to sort that out. Is the fuel line? Got some other connectors because uh, I haven't got too many of them. But I got more of these than I got of them. Get the bloody thing on. Okay. Alright. How are we going to mount this? Have to make some kind of bracket. Um, let's get that down there. Because we don't want it too tight to the engine. And uh, fuel line two. Fuel line two goes to the engine, so that's out. So if we cut it. We cut that there on the R. We should be good. Cut it on the R. Definitely cut it on the R. Boom! Just like that. And put a fatter one on there. It's gonna be fun. Oh, she's a tight fit. Yeah, get on here, bugger. The pipe, the pipe is cold. Solid. This is warmed him up a bit. Turn out it's been freaking coming off. <laughs> I think it's bloody coming off here, that's for sure. As you can tell. He's on it good, man. He's on it real good. Anyway, you get a gist of it. So I gotta put that one on, do the other three, and then we'll come back. Fuel linked up, those pipes are linked up, and now we're going to build um, something to support the middle of them. Now I got some, I got some pipe there, so we can uh, make some kind of three-tiered bracket just to take the weight. Because um, I just thought over the years it will stretch with uh, with some fuel in there, so um, we'll sort that out, and then we can get uh, coal, the coal system on for the upper evaporation part, and then. We got some leads. We got the old power power steering leads and air conditioning unit. We got to take off, and then there's some wiring. And then um, fingers crossed, we can start it. So uh, let's build them brackets. Right, this is some of the tubing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to measure it 700. So it's from that that frame to that frame, and then this is the fuel line, and it fits absolutely perfect in there. So what we're going to do is I'll cut these a 700, cut them in half, and then the half then will take the weight, and we'll make a three-tier bracket. And we'll slide them up and under and weld them on. Uh, oh, I could even, I could even uh, put some holes in it, and yeah, we're drawing tap some holes down in there so we can take it in and out. Seven hundred. So we got to do now is cut down the line, cut it in half, do the same to that one, and then um, 
we can make our bracket. Here's our pipe cut in half and uh, it's going to go under here like so and just to support it I might just go uh, straight out to the side instead of down and then obviously I gotta put one under here because I don't want it catching on, uh, on the um, handbrake cables so that's that so we just gotta bring make up some bits of metal to I think this one can go down and then um, that one can go across so uh, just gonna make them bits of brackets now Okay, we've put it underneath and we've had a little look and it's 25, 25 mil on the end, which is going to be there, and then another 25 mil one from the end from there. But before I weld them onto there, I gotta put a hole. Oops, I gotta put a hole in there for it to sit in, and then drill and tap the hole down there so we can fit it in so we'll do that next okay, we've just uh, tacked these legs on the bottom of this bracket and we're just gonna test fit it to make sure it fits okay before we weld it all up and that fits on that hole and that's could do with coming off and going down a bit more that one's okay that's not too bad and it's not rubbing on the cable underneath which is great we got about 15 mil underneath there uh, take this one back off and move it in a looks like um, four mil oh well take this one back off and move him over a bit more the, the bracket i was seeing in my head so um Obviously this will be going uh, in there and uh, it's pretty hard to work. Ah, ain't got a lot of room to play around with. Getting tighter and tighter and tighter. Work. Come on. That's that. That's that one. That's that. And hold on there. There we have it. And I'll keep them level. This one here is fine. I can you can put the uh, clips around here then all them so then that will be that will be um, to the IVA approval because every uh, 300 mil you gotta have it clipped so I can have them clipped across there and uh, yeah that's our little bracket one little bracket done and then we got to move on to taking some of that hose, uh, hose piping and stuff on the engine that we don't need so uh, I gotta Weld it up now because it's only tacked together and uh, give it a little spray paint so it don't rust. Okay, give it a good clean now. We give it a paint. Get all that crap off. Blech. Alright, we'll hang him up. I'll give him a spray. Okay. Come on, get on here. 
one. And two. Shake him up. Give him a spray. Before you know it, it'll be all nice and black. I'm drying up there now for about uh, half an hour. This paint goes off in about 10 minutes, so uh, it's good stuff. I only got to put the heat on him as well. Right, I'm just going to stop that from rusting. So we can now put this on. I have to take this off because it's a nightmare to get this on. Okay, and there we are, it is in, tidy, so that's good, that's that sorted, and now we got to uh, take some of these hoses off because we don't need them, so that's our next thing, other than that, we made a lot of, a lot of progress I thought, so uh, a little bit of tidying up and then uh, we can get on with uh, taking some of them um, hoses off that we don't need next to come off we got to get this aircon off I don't know if you can see uh, down here it might be a bit dark for you guys the aircon line's got to come off off the air pump because we haven't got air conditioning So that's coming off. There's one. There's another one in there somewhere. There it is. So, come on. And uh, I don't live in a hot country, so heaters is just going to be enough for me. I think there's going to be a little bit left in the lines. So we might have a bit of fluid go somewhere. Come on. That's that one. I'll just have to have that by there. Gotta come off. Bracket. Need any more? Break it off, and it's some over there now. Pretty sure it's just this one. Let's go for this side and get this off. I hope everybody had a nice Christmas and Santa got them everything they wanted. And as usual, it costs a bloody fortune. Spend it all on crap. Right, that's that off. So now this should should pull out. One, two. Uh, 
Tidy. Well, we don't need them anymore because that's the acorn. They can go in the bin. And uh, now pump goes round, it'll just be pumping crap out of there, which I don't mind because once it's all out, it's out. Pretty sure that's just the acorn. I hope it is anyway. I've got it tagged up as acorn. Yeah, acorn. Um, that's them off. And it's um, up the top here. Uh, power steering. There's one. There's one here it's for the power steering, so we don't need that. And that goes, looks like it goes back to this top pump. I wonder if we can get that lot off. Let's see underneath would be better. Let's get some uh, something to fit that. Okay, let's get these off. Let's see if we can see what's underneath them. When I know, when I've got it started, hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm going to take this engine completely out, and I'm, I'm thinking about just taking it straight to Audi and say, look, just overall the engine, stick new uh, cam tensioners, blah blah blah, new timing belt, go through it for me, save me. Uh, Save me some time. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. I'll have to see. Uh, see how it goes. They shouldn't charge me too much, considering the engine's out of the car. <laughs> so they won't have to take anything apart. It'll be just a case of uh, doing it on the shelf, I suppose. Oh, that come off here. It does. Okay, that's tight. Oh, I don't want to take them off. I don't really want to take them off. <laughs> Anyone to see what's under it? Okay, and he looks like, I don't know if you can see, but I'm going to take that off. Right, I've moved that to the side, and um, I don't understand why there's a, a coolant uh, hose going into it, into this power steering pump. I don't, um, that makes sense to me, that don't. I know this is the power steering. I know for sure it is. Just baffled me that off. I have to. Uh, do a bit of research maybe it it's got some internal uh, cooling for it oh, some some again for some reason and yep yeah, that's on there wrong size I need a 13 mil My 13 mil. There it is. We are getting closer and closer to starting this engine, but you can't wait. All right, come on, that's off. That's 
flat. I shouldn't have to take anything else off. Should be able to jingle it through somehow. Breaking anything. Oh, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> this this is a I broke that. I got a spare one there when we they only got the quid. I can buy a new one. Come on. Right, okay. That's that. I know that. See that's here? I don't understand why that is that. I don't know, maybe it, it um, see down there, like the cooler, coolant that goes into the coolant. Weird that. Really weird. Yeah, it's definitely post here. Anyway, we don't need them. I gotta get a new one of them now. I think I bought a new one of them on the other engine I got. That's that. Tidy. So that's so all we gotta take off. Pretty much. Tighten these back down. And we are that much closer to getting it started. Fingers crossed. All we're gonna know is the charcoal filter. Oh, yeah, yeah, we gotta gotta mount the charcoal filter. So that's our next uh, job. Once that's mounted, I'm gonna come off. I gotta go on. that well that was simple enough now we gotta mount this uh, trim this down a bit this I've tried to heat this stuff up before and um, to try and straighten it out you don't like it so pretty bummed on that oh. I have to make a thing for that to go out of Sit there, nice that one. And then, of course, that gotta go down to that line, which is this line. I'll make a bracket for it to clink on there, I think. Okay, we've stripped that out. Charcoal box is on, connected, fuel lines connected, brackets all made. I think uh, all we need now, guys, is some. Uh, some electrics to the ignition switch and now um, a bit more fuel I think we're ready to start it so um, I'll be it for this video so in the next video there'll be a little bit of wiring and um, see if it starts so uh, thank you all for watching and um, sitting here with your big fat bellies from too much cake and food <laughs> and we shall see you in the next video thanks a lot guys Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year